everybody. Welcome or welcome back to Aprils on a Budget. I'm April and today I'm going to be doing some cash stuffing. So oh, let me organize myself here. Oh, my cat's at the door. Honestly, <sighs> I have to go get her because she literally rips out the um, I can't remember what it's called, but there's like lining in the door that insulates the door and uh, she rips out the bottom and then picks it up and lets it drop against the door and it makes this ticking sound um, and she just continues doing it until I go get her. So I'm going to go get her and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Cats. All right. So, uh, let's start by counting my money. What do I have today? Oh, no. She's come over to say hello. I'm not sure if she's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's Smokey. Uh, that is the middle child, the, uh, the auntie. Okay, so what do I have today? 50, 70, 90, 110, 130. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, so $220. I know she's going to meow. She's sitting there staring at me like she's expecting me to do something or say something to her. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, my annual, so camping trip. Uh, it is getting 45. So it now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170. It has occurred to me that I just jumped right into the video. She distracted me, um, Smokey. Jesus, I forgot what that said. Well, what I said, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170. It's $170 in camping. Um, Tyson and I are seriously considering selling our camper. If I can find a picture of it, I'll put it right here. Um, not, not to promote it, to sell it. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind we'll sell it right away. They are very uh, popular campers and... But the, it's just not big enough for us. I mean, Tyson is 6'4", and uh, he has to sleep on the bottom bunk. There's like, um, on one side, there's a double bed, if you can call it that. And then on the other side, there's a bunk bed. Um, so we use the top of the bunk for storage, and the bottom is where Tyson sleeps. But he's always, like, hunched right up. The two of us can't fit on the double bed unless um, we're, like, lying in the fetal position, and then if one of us rolls over, the other one has to roll over because there's just no room. Um, but we can't lay straight out because Tyson is 6'4 and he's too tall. So uh, we've outgrown it. So we've decided that we're probably going to sell it um, right away, like in the next month or two. Um, so I don't know how much camping, if any, we're going to get this summer. We may borrow a camper from a family member. Uh, we're not sure. But anyway, it was just something that we discussed that I thought I would share with you. <clears throat> but... Anyway, uh, back to school is not getting anything, and Christmas is getting this week $5. So it now has 20, 45, and 50, which is cool. It's very good, very good. And I'm almost done my Christmas savings challenge, so that'll be another. Uh, I think that one's worth $90, so that'll be good. So that is that one done. And then I'll just move on to regular sinking funds. The last several weeks I've been forgetting to do that, um, the annual until last. And it confuses me every time because I'm very easily confused. Um, anyway, so it has occurred to me this week that I have not been saving for Easter. I had my savings challenge going for Easter and it was going really, really well. And then all of a sudden, I just haven't landed on it. I just haven't played it at all. Um, so I need to put in Easter because we have, I think, $20, if that, saved for Easter. So and we, I think we have two more weeks after this one um, to get this done. So uh, this is definitely going to be my focus for the next couple of weeks. What color do I want? I want this color because it's cute. 
Um, so what did I budget for Easter? Um, 40, yeah. So, oh, I just wrote on myself. Okay, so Easter is getting $40. Um, like I said, I still have two weeks to stuff this one. And um, in all likelihood, we will end up just charging Easter and um, then just taking this money out and putting it back in the bank when it's done. Um, but we may have no choice because I just didn't have a sinking fund for it, which I really should have. But And there's just no guarantee I'm going to have $40 every week to stuff in here. Uh, it does. It is quite expensive. We don't buy a lot of chocolate, but I do buy chocolate for my daughter and my grandkids. And also, um, I put this in an Abigail envelope just because, you know, it's mainly for her anyway. But we do like to buy her, um, you know, some a spring toy, uh, spring clothes, that sort of thing. So uh, I think $200 should be more than enough. But anyway, um, yeah, I haven't been saving for it, which was kind of silly of me. So self-care is getting, I can hardly see my notes from way over here. Uh, self-care is getting $10. So it now has $20, $45, and $50. Uh, I believe we're getting our nails done on Tuesday and we're going to that new shop, which is cheaper, which is nice. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, I wasn't sure if we were going to go to um, a different shop because we weren't sure, but they've held up. So I guess they're okay. Cats. So cats are getting five. I know I said I was going to beef up on the cats, but honestly, um, just always something and right now it's Easter and birthdays 5 10 15 20 I'm just gonna swap that out for a 20 I probably don't need to but I'm gonna do it anyway just in case medical uh, medical is getting five dollars really did I budget for medical that's very odd because I don't actually you know what I don't need this in here because we have this this is fully funded I have 25 in my wallet and 25 in here so it is fully funded and I can probably find a better place for this five. So I'm gonna put it back there and just hang on to it for a second. I don't know why I put that there. Anyway, water is getting 10. So it is now fully funded at 25.30, but we're down to our last jug, brand new jug, but it's the last one um, on the tower. I think my son must have put it on through the night last night, so it won't last the entire week so uh, this will be emptied before next week septic is getting its normal 15 oh you know what I want to take that back I'm just gonna put 15 this way because yeah 20 45 55 60 in septic which is nice that is halfway to being fully funded eggs oh you know what I didn't budget for eggs and I forgot Tyson took out but you know what I'm not gonna put any in here because I don't know how long we're gonna have our egg man so for now for this week I'm not gonna stuff this but uh, yeah I think I'll call it fully funded now at seven dollars um, so I'll just leave it um, house oh that's it for this amp binder nothing else in this one And then, oh, what's Mickey doing? I got to watch him. He's outside. He's brought in two mice this week <laughs> in like two days. So they always bring us mice, um, specifically Mickey and Miss Kitty. They bring us mice and they leave it like right in the middle of the sidewalk. And thankfully, there's enough crows and raccoons and skunks around that they usually come and just pick it up and take it away. Um, so they're kind of feeding the neighborhood wildlife and a resident wildlife. And uh, anyway, Mickey has decided, I guess, that he doesn't have enough toys in the house, so he's been bringing mice in the house. Now, the first time he did it, which was the day before yesterday, I thought, okay, well, he brought us a dead mouse. It's not a mouse. It's a, a, a vole, which is kind of like a mouse, only a lot smaller and it, like a really super, super pointy nose and a short tail. Anyway, uh, there was one on my carpet. So I assumed he brought it in dead, but then last night... I went to bed last night 
And then I could hear Mickey out here meowing. And I didn't know what he wanted, but he didn't pursue it. He didn't persist. I just assumed he wanted outside. So then I went to sleep. But then I woke up about an hour later and came out in the living room and there was another vole on my carpet. So, and he was not outside and hadn't been outside for a while. So I'm fairly certain that he brought it alive into the house to play with. <laughs> I'm hoping that's not the case, but I don't know how else it would have gotten there. And voles don't generally go indoors. They're not like a mouse where a mouse will come in your house if it can. Uh, we've never found a vole in the house ever or any sign of it. So anyway, yeah, he's been bringing us mice in the house. So what would you do if your mouse brought you a mouse or, or your cat brought you a mouse? So anyway, I'm a little concerned now whenever I see him hunting around outside. I'm like, oh my God, if he catches it, I'm not letting him in for a few hours. He's done playing with it. <laughs> anyway, up uh, next. Okay, so let's do... Um, okay, I did my wallet. I did... I think... Yeah. So, nope, not this one. Uh, family. So let's move on to Tyson. No, let's do Abby first. So Abby is getting five. So she now has 25, 35. So I'm gonna let this build. Uh, I, I want her to get another $15 in here. And then I'm gonna take this out and put it in her Disney binder. Um, I did put her five in there, right? Okay, well, if I have an extra five at the end, I'll know why. Unbelievable, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, I am getting 20 and I'm putting it in right now, okay. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150, 155. So I have 155 in mine and Tyson's savings for Disney. So let me just quickly mark off a 20 here if I can find. Uh, so if I do this 15, is there a 5 up here somewhere? There must be a 5. Oh, there's a five. Um, and then once all the everything, oh, geez, I was stuck. To, oh, I got, I was stuck to that. No wonder this leaks everywhere. Um, that was like an old dry mark on there and my finger was completely stuck to it. Not a fan of the red, I must say. <clears throat> Okay, anyway, uh, this is mine and Tyson's spending for Disney, um, which I need to focus on more. You know, I have a great savings challenge for this, and I've never landed on it, not once ever. Uh, and then Tyson gets his 20. He still has not made his extra car payment. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, when he does, that will be cool because um, oh, I think he's getting close enough. I mean, he's still a long way off from being done. I think he still has like 70 car payments, um, bi-weekly payments. It's like two and a half years or something like that he's still got. Um, but it would be nice to be able to write it down just so we can keep track um, of where his car payment should end. And then if we can make an extra car payment, even if it's every six months or whatever, just see what kind of difference that makes. Because I know when you make the extra one, um, it all goes on your principal. And uh, so then every payment after that, more of it will go on principal and less on interest. So that would be good. Anyway, I didn't count that, did I? Okay, so he has... 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 350, 370, 375, 380, 85, 90, 95, $410. Insane. He is very close to two car payments here, which is nice. I think he's, I don't know, three or four weeks away. From two car payments so that's really good uh, so that is it for that mm, oh birthdays I was, I was like 
Why do I have so much money again? But I still have too much money. Why do I have so much money here? Oh, you be Tyson. That is 100 envelope. Tyson, April, Abby. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Okay. Oh, no. You know what? Did I put 40 in Easter or did I just fill out the tracker? <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Holy. Okay, so that is 30, 40 going into Easter. Oh, I broke the envelope. Oh, bugger hell. All right, so that's done. But I still have... <sighs> Oh, no, that's right. Okay, okay. I'll pull it together, I promise. Okay, so, birthdays. So, in birthdays, uh, Tyson's mom is fully funded. Tyson's dad has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So, he is getting 10 which puts him at $40, so he's now fully funded. And then Emma, my granddaughter, is getting 10. Um, she'll get 20 next week, but 10 today, because the other 10 went in Richards. Uh, that's my father-in-law. Okay, so that is done. And then... Um, I'd say last but not least, but it's not because I do have some other business to take care of. But um, let's go to our 100 envelope. And that's what I'm going to do with that five that I put in medicine that I didn't need to. Um, oh, wait, oh, and that's good, too, because I didn't even have a 20 on here. So uh, 25 going into the 100 envelope. Oh, see, if I had another 10, I could fill out my, the biggest one I have left, which is $35. I'd rather do that, but I don't, so I'm not. All right, so. Coming along, coming along. Um, we hopefully will be able to put another chunk in here fairly soon i have a couple of savings challenges that are approaching being done um which will finish this and start the next thousand so yay okay now business so if you watched my cash unstuffing of my wallet i finished my when life hands your lemons and this is the one that i was really struggling with uh where i was going to put it i didn't really have a place for it um, and I've decided that, oh, I probably should have made change for this. Yeah, I'm going to need change for this. Well, that wasn't very smart. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's see how far I get first. Okay. So what I've decided to do is just use this as additional sinking funds because, um, there's a few areas that need a little bit of assistance so uh let me go back into my sinking funds so this is 60 dollars uh in total and it is finished so um easter no okay so i didn't get to stuff any of this stuff today so household <laughs> is getting five let me come back to it Family fun, what do I have in here? Oh, good. Okay, so family fun is getting five, so I'm taking out 15, and I'm going to put a 20 in there. Um, Yeah, sinking funds didn't get a lot this week because I ended up having to put that 40 in Easter. So this was perfect timing because it allowed me to actually stuff the envelopes that didn't get stuffed. So uh, $5 going into household. Clothing is getting $5, so it now has $25.35, and 
and then home decor is getting five and it only has five so now it has ten dollars and then oh shit is getting ten dollars so i'm gonna take out 10 and put in a 20. so it now has 25 dollars uh this is probably going to be spent right away abby has two birthday parties from school friends coming up right away and i don't have an envelope for that so i need to create one um, she has, this is like her fourth birthday party in the last couple of months she's been invited to, which is a good thing. Um, but I need to have an envelope for that. So, uh, this is probably where this is going to go. So there's $25 in here right now and I'll have to add to it. Uh, that'll cover her party this week, but then next week she has another one. Um, so I'll need to add to that one again, probably next week. And that leaves me $30, which is going into my little Emma. Uh, so her birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks and I'm so excited. She's having a Harry Potter birthday party and I'm a big Harry Potter fan. So um, yeah, and my daughter's making surprise bags and I low-key am very, very jealous because I don't get one and it's got little owls in it and I really want one. Um, but anyway, uh, hint, hint, in case she watches this video. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so Emma now has 25, 35, 40 in her envelope, which makes me feel much better uh, because I will be stuffing this once, maybe twice between now and when I do her birthday shopping. And I can also take out of the birthday savings challenge that I have going as well. So that's it. That's all I have for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like any of the, no, I didn't show any savings challenges. No, oh, wrong video. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. And I'll see you all on Wednesday. Bye, everybody. Oh.